Okay, so let's uh, type here Appify. And once you go here, uh, you'll need to create an account. And once you've created an account, then you can go to your dashboard. And from your dashboard, you can create a number of crawlers. So what we'd like to be able to do is create a new crawler that can go through Zappos and, um, and then retrieve information about, say, uh, shoes or any type of uh, apparel. So let's say we are looking for um, women fancy shoes. Uh, this, well, I don't know that these are fancy. Uh, but anyway, so this is what a search uh, result from Zappos might look like. So what we'd like to be able to do is, is, um, is create a crawler that can uh, extract information such as all these images and maybe the, uh, the names here for all these shoes uh, and then uh, download them. And, um, uh, and then we can integrate it into our own uh, website. So if we copy that, and we go back to the crawler. Uh, here I had done already uh, an example, but let me, let me create a new one just to show you uh, a demo. Uh, so let's uh, create new and let's uh, call it uh, Zappos. Uh, and we're going to put here the, um, the URL that goes out uh, to Zappos. Uh, and then down here, you can um, specify uh, what it is that you want to extract uh, from from that website. So let's let's take a look at uh, if we go to Zappos, we can we can inspect all these images. If you right click on the image and you say and you click on inspect, uh, it shows you. If you go to the elements, let me close this a little bit. It shows, it shows you on the right hand side the, the HTML that was used to render this page. And you'll see that uh, that image in particular is uh, rendered by this image tag, IMG, and then there's a source. And the source is the uh, URL to the, the actual uh, image. So if you copy that and you just open up a new tab and paste the URL, you'll get the actual image. So that's, that's what we'd like to be, be able to grab from there. Another thing that we'd like to be able to grab is this alternate. See this a ALT? That actually has the, the name um, of that particular product. So basically, we want to grab this IMG tag from this page. Uh, if we look at the structure of this document, like we'll see that if you keep going a little bit higher, and notice that everything seems to be inside of this larger div. Notice that the whole thing highlights on the left-hand side. The whole thing seems to be inside this uh, larger search page div whose ID is search page. So we go back, go back to the crawler. What we could do uh, is, let me expand this. Um, actually, uh, can we make this bigger? All right, there we go. It's a little bigger. Um, we can use jQuery. jQuery is a, uh, a JavaScript uh, library that allows you to interact uh, with the uh, with HTML, and what I'd like to uh, and what I'd like to be able to do is extract that div. Uh, we'll we'll give it a name, a local name, uh, and it's called what was it called? It was called search page. So let's let's grab the search page. Search page. We can use uh, a j the j the dollar sign, which is an alias here, local alias to the jQuery library, to to refer to that uh, to that element. Uh, to, to the element whose ID, this div here, whose ID is search page. Okay, so let's do that. We can say, uh, you, can, you can use hash. Hash means ID, the element whose ID is a uh, search page. So there we go. So now look, we have a, a variable uh, that, is, that is referring to that div. Once you have that div, what we'd like to be able to do is extract all these images. And it looks like um, there's an image here. Uh, we can go a little farther down. Um, these are these are each one of the, the the shoes, right? And they all have the same structure. They're all a clickable link, and then underneath there's a there's a div, and down underneath there's another div, and finally there is an image. Where are you? Um, uh, somewhere here is the image. Uh, let's see, is this it? There we go. That's the image. So they all have the same structure. So basically, we want to grab all the images uh, from the search uh, div. Okay. So now that we have the um, 
Now that we have the uh, the div for the search page, we can say grab all the images var images and say search page dot uh, find all images. So it says img. So those are all the images. Very good. Uh, we can uh, then iterate. Actually, we can we can we can um, put this these two lines into a single line. We can say uh, ha hash search page and then followed by img. That means I want all the images under the uh, div whose ID is search page. Uh, so basically these would be the images, images. And what we need to do is iterate over all these images and extract uh, the source URLs, right? And then we want to extract the alt. So let's do that. Let's uh, iterate over the images. So for var i um, uh, in images. And we can say var uh, image is equal to the images sub i. And we're going to, so that, that returns uh, the element, the img element. That's the raw HTML img element. And we're going to wrap it with jQuery because we want to we want to interact with it uh, at a little bit higher level. And let's extract this source from the image. We can say image, retrieve the attribute. Uh, whose name is src source and retrieve the alt uh, from the image whose uh, the we retrieve the attribute whose name is alt so now we have both we have the the we have the src and the alt and um, we'll we'll put it all inside of an object um, uh, uh, so that we can uh, create an array of uh, a collection of all these all, of all these objects, and then and then send and then return uh, like a you know a long array of all these images. So let's see source uh, and alt alt, and now we have an object, and we're going to put it in an array. So we'll call it var uh, image array. It's an empty array at first, uh, and then we can say image array dot push and then there we go okay now that we have the image array now we can send it back uh, as part of the results uh, of this whole uh, script we can say that in you know send back the images as the image array all right I think we're done let's save that uh, once we've done that, we can uh, run our our crawler for the very first time. We click on Run. Uh, now it's, this is going out to the to the Zappos uh, website. There it is. It downloaded it, so it has it internally. And now it's going to extract. It's going to run our, our script. It's going to extract uh, those elements from that page. Let's see. It's still going. It's still running. Okay. There we go. It's done. We can look at the results and. And there we go. We have image zero source and the alt, and then source and then the alt for images one, images two, images three. Uh, we can look at the raw data. We can see that this is the whole data that it generated for us. If we go a little farther, notice that uh, in the element page function result, uh, that's um, it's a uh, it's the array that we were looking for. There it is, images, and then the array of the of the uh, of uh, that was extracted. If you go a little farther, you'll notice that some of them were null. See that? Some of them are empty. And that's that's because it had some trouble perhaps parsing uh, some of those images. So what we could do uh, is let's, we can go back to the basic settings and, and we can we can just uh, uh, maybe um, test here, right? If, uh, the, if the source, if there is a source, Right, and then we want to push it into the array. Otherwise, we're going to just ignore it. Right, so let's save that. Uh, let's rerun it again. Let's go to run console and run it again. We just want to get rid of that those dummy um, empty uh, objects. We, we we just want to keep uh, the relevant images. Okay, it's still going. Still going. There it is. It's done. And, and there we go. So this is a page function result. The reason, the reason it's, it's called page function results is that it's because it's call it's it's running this page function, right? It's the function that runs for the page when it's loaded. Uh, and so we can find the result. 
in, in the subsection page function result. And if we scroll through this, uh, we'll notice that there are no empty uh, objects for the page result. Okay, excellent. So we have a place to, to, um, to go fetch that data. Um, if we go to APIs, we'll, uh, we, we, um, uh, Appify makes available uh, this data at a, at a specific URL. Uh, if you go down, it says get last execution results. Uh, you can grab it. Right? And, that, and, and so, so from anywhere in the world, if you know this URL, uh, you can get that results uh, already available. There it is. There's the uh, page function results with all our data, sub-images. Uh, so, so the next thing we need to do is, is be able to uh, call this, this URL from our particular application and then be able to extract uh, this data and programmatically iterate over it and render it in our own web page right? as opposed to uh, living only on, on the Zappos page, and that's what we'll do next.